Hello everyone and welcome to this another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a cool music bars effect and we'll be creating it in this iPhone here, the one where it's written STYX, this part here. Okay, I'm going to use this image here. So let's duplicate this for now so that we don't lose our original. Right click duplicate. Okay, now what I'm going to do is fill this inner portion here with black. So using my new layer, I'm going to zoom in here and with my pen tool selected make sure you have pen tool selected and you have paths checked on I'm going to just draw the shape of this inner portion here once you have the portion Let's get back here. Okay, once you have that path selected, that area, I'm going to fill this in with black. So, still our path selected, right click and select fill path. Make sure you have okay, background set as black and choose background. Click on OK and hit on escape to deselect the path. Okay, once you have the blacks filled in there so that we have a new screen to make our music bars. What I'm going to do is make a new layer and we're going to make the music bars in the same color of this aqua color right here on the bottom you can see. And for that I'm going to create a pattern so that we could draw boxes easily or we could even do the hard way which is selecting a rectangle tool and drawing boxes one by one which is uh, kind of hard. So first I'm going to make our own pattern so let's create a new page and you can set an any size here for that okay create a new layer and I'm gonna add some black boxes rectangles here depending on the size of the music bars you want selecting a rectangle make sure you have fills checked on top I'm gonna zoom in here once and I'm gonna make a nice rectangle shaped black box there okay with that I'm gonna duplicate this so control J with that same way selected I'm gonna take this once up Again, Control J, and just quite a few of them. And now what I'm going to do is trim it. So go to Image, Trim, and click on OK. So you have all of that trimmed. And we'll delete our background layer to remove the white in between those boxes. Okay. Now let's turn this into a pattern. So I'm going to merge all this and go to Edit, select Define Pattern. I'm going to call this music bars click on ok once you have that created let's fill in our patterns in our document again with the new layer I'm going to draw let's draw in let's actually select our black space we have here so control click on this layer so we have that selected and this new layer I'm going to fill in the music bars so let's go to our pen bucket tool select pattern as your option here and choose the music bars we just created and let's just fill in you can't really see because that's in black let's undo that and fill it well, it takes black because you have created the pattern in black so let's just fill in here you can see now that it appears deselect that and i'm going to turn the color overlay to a color we want select in white or actually the color we actually wanted or we could use our gradient to have a much better effect here let's choose the colors we want a nice aqua color I think I'll select it myself here and maybe a dark aqua color okay that's good let's save that oops okay and I'll be using radial for this you can just place it right on the top here or at the bottom a nice radial effect okay click on ok to apply that and I'm going to zoom in here and first what we need is we just want these music bars randomly filled in you know like a music they all looks it's in full volume now okay let's create another 
duplicate of this music bars here off the visible of the original one and I'm going to remove the blending settings for this so or you could leave that let's switch to our mask with this layer selected I'm going to fill in with my marquee tool I'm just going to highlight some portions of it so let's select a couple of these here and a few of those there holding my shift and selecting the areas so let's remove all this portion here and make sure you are still in your mask layer it doesn't make difference now unless we fill it okay let's select some part in this point here and a few on this some in this area just do it randomly it doesn't need to be perfect Okay. okay once we have that done I'm going to just click on my mask layer here oops I've already done that let's fill this in with black so with my black set as my foreground color I'm going to hold on my alt and backspace to fill in the black Control d to deselect Control one to zoom back there you go a nice music bars effect and the good thing was that we had our selection of the screen there so that we could easily mask the other sides of these pattern there and you could even add some nice glow effect to that let's go back to our blending options select glow and we'll add another strong aqua color here overlay wouldn't work because we have nothing in the background switch back to normal and lower the opacity or we could try in inner glow which would give us some look switch that back let's select white and there you go we have some nice glowing here just on the edges of those bars and another thing we'll do is add some lighting in the back there so with my area of the bar selected control click on this layer here okay let's create a new layer above the blue I mean the black and I'll fill this in with a gradient I think I'll switch back to this and at one side I'm going to remove the opacity here so click on the top bar here and lower the opacity to 0% so we have aqua to transparency click on ok I'm going to click on top make sure you have linear selected as your option and click on top here and just drag in that's something like that ok once you have that done actually I'm going to just move this selection a bit down and just give this there you go and you could just lower in the opacity of that what we'll do now is actually we'll give a shine on this side so let's select that make a new layer and using my pen tool I'm just going to chop in some of this portion here just some of this okay I'm going to delete this just come backwards to the end of the path and right click select make selection make sure you choose subtract from selection feather set to 0 pixels click on ok once you have that let's add the shine I'm going to switch to my gradient tool and I'm going to select this time white to transparency linear and click and drag inward let's do that again Control D to deselect change the blending mode of this layer to overlay doesn't really isn't really seen and let's switch that back to normal and let's lower the opacity here just to give a kind of shine effect there okay there you go a nice music bar effect on your iPhone player hope you learned something from this and thank you for watching this tutorial